Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama on today's episode. Now, I did a video on Itheri and Olga and their terrorizing of our eyes with their fugly outfit. However, I am an equal opportunity fugly. And therefore, I have decided to do a video on Miss Vera Wang, one of the best designers in the world, and her hatred, yes, people, it is pure hatred for one Nathan Chen. Let us look over the history of their relationship together. First, we had the time that she turned him into a scramble eggs. Yes, he was a scramble egg much like our dear friend, Mr. Humpty Dumpty, and not all of Phil Hirsch men could put our dear Nathan back together again. But she was not done. After turning him into a scramble egg, she then blessed us with the acid t-shirt series. This was the era where Miss Wang would take a basic black t-shirt and throw some Clorox bleach on it. Yes, this was laziness at its best. However, it still was not offensive. No, offensive was the house blouse series that looked like it was the aftermath of a housewife yoga session. Yes, the house blouse series came in a black and a white one. But to me, the black one was especially offensive. But then we continued the workout theme with what I like to call the spandex series because nothing screams heterosexual like latex. Look at my man looking like a full on black condom. Get it, Nathan. And then Ms. Vera Wang hit us with the Walmart 497 shirt series. Yes. At this point, the lack of giving a shit was at an all-time high. We had the Wendy White 497 shirt and the Iron Not Necessary 497 blue shirt. Ugh. But of course, my favorite of all these series is the penguin look. Or should I call it the chic black and white Two finger snaps, everyone look. Yes, that's where you had one arm was black. No, it was a black and white concept. No, it was one little black string. No, it was all black with a little white collar. I don't know. Miss Wang was really thinking outside of the box for that one. But all I have to say is I miss elegant Nathan. I miss costume matching with the music Nathan. And now... Yes, now for, for the 2022 Olympic in Beijing, as if the people of China have not suffered enough, Miss Wang has decided to stick it to them and Nathan one more time by turning him into a volcanic Cheetos. Yes, she put my man out there on the ice looking like Somebody vomited on him. Why, Vera? Why do you hate Nathan and the people of China so much? What have either one of them ever done to you? But then again, we cannot blame this whole fiasco on Miss Vera Wang. Because obviously, Nathan has eyes. Mama Chen has eyes. Author has eyes. That entire team, which also includes Adam Rippon, have eyes. You mean to tell me, amongst all of these people with eyes, none of them could see the fugliness of this shirt that even Stevie Wonder could see from a mile away? I don't know what's going on, but I want you guys to all know that if for nothing else, for having survived the wrath of Vera Wang's fugliness, Nathan deserves a good Olympic outing. That is all for this episode. 
of where have all the fugly outfits gone in Nathan Chen's closet, in case you were wondering. <laughs>